If you ever had to schedule and host a hybrid meeting, you know that it's stressful. So I want to give you my top three tips for hosting a hybrid meeting. So maybe next time you won't be so stressed. So what makes hosting a hybrid meeting different? Well, you need to consider two things, choosing the right type of physical space and ensuring remote participants can join in an equitable way. Now, as always, if you find this video useful, please like, subscribe, or follow. Now let's get to it. Tip number one, pick the right type of meeting space. Size and purpose are key here. Don't be that person that reserves that massive conference room for a small gathering. Make sure you act like a good corporate citizen. If it's a formal presentation, go for that traditional conference room. But if it's for brainstorming, choose a space that encourages creativity. You know, spaces with whiteboards and that comfy furniture, like you see in these pictures here. Tip number two, confirm the tech needs of your meeting. Will the technology in the space support the virtual meeting platform that's being used? Whether it be WebEx, Zoom, Microsoft, you know, sometimes you can't control what's being used, especially if you're meeting with another company. Also ask yourself, does the tech support whiteboarding? Is that actually needed in the meeting? Will folks be using third-party brainstorming apps like Miro? Is that required? And finally, tip number three, learn how to use the technology in the room before the meeting. Seriously, don't be that person who's fumbling around, trying to figure out how to join, uh, how to share content. You gotta know the basics, joining, sharing, muting and unmuting. Everything else is a bonus. And if there's an electronic whiteboard involved, get familiar with that too. Trust me, a little bit of pre-testing goes a long way in saving you from that meeting day headache and stress. And here's one more bonus tip. Know how to get support if you have any issues. Now there's usually a phone number in the room, a QR code that you can scan, or some sort of help button on the video device itself. I recommend just testing it out to see if anyone actually answers so you have the confidence you can get some help during your meeting if something actually goes wrong. So those are my tips to help you host a successful hybrid meeting. And of course, all other meeting best practices still apply, like make sure you got an agenda, make sure everyone's voices are heard, and that you capture outcomes and next steps. So remember, book the right type of meeting space, confirm the technology needs of the meeting, and learn how to use the technology before the meeting. And if you find your company has challenges supporting hybrid meetings, make sure you give them the following feedback back on your next employee survey. Tell your company that you need an increased variety of meeting spaces, an easy way to identify and book meeting spaces, that all meeting spaces should be equipped with a video collaboration solution, and finally, solutions should have a consistent, easy to use experience across multiple meeting platforms. So full disclosure, I do work for Cisco if you didn't know that, so it might be a little bit biased, but Cisco can help any company out there achieve these goals and take the stress out of hosting hybrid meetings. And we can do all of this with our latest generation video platform. So this is John Seaton, the Collaboration Specialist. Hopefully this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.